the Speaker, House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamina, says Nigeria's universities is dangerously lacking in the capability to build a nation that can survive through the movement of change and turbulence and achieve its full promise. The Speaker also condemned the act of harassment and victimization of students by some randomly lecturers as a call for more strengthened institutional mechanism that would checkmate corruption and moral decadence in the nation's universities. Delivering a lecture on the theme, Building a Truly 21st Century University, a tax beyond government. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, says the evident decline in the quality of scholarship, academic output, and the graduates cast into labor market shows that more investment needs to be put into university education by both government and private donors. This will ensure that no individual lecturer holds in their hands the power to determine a child's future and will restrict the ability of predators to corrupt such powers to service their base instincts. I further propose that we adopt across the board a system of zero tolerance for individuals, students or staff who are credibly accused of harassment or intimidation and any infringement of individual autonomy. Let it be the role of independent commissions made up of persons of integrity and unquestionable authority to evaluate the credibility of complaints, taking only relevant variables into consideration and thereafter proposing a course of action to which the university must be bound. Every victim who presents must be listened to and not be judged. Our universities must be places of learning and innovation where people are safe and feel safe and where injustice in all forms has no place. This is something that our tertiary institutions need to do for and by themselves before the heavy hand of government intervenes to impose mandates that may be unworkable or that enforce liabilities that infringe on your independence and make it so that you are unable to, full, to fulfill the primary mandates of your existence. The summary of it all is simple. Where we are is not where we ought to be. Moving from here requires a concerted and collaborative effort between government, our tertiary institutions, and stakeholders from the walls of business, philanthropy, to pursue new approaches, rejecting ancient shibboleths. Let us all lift our gaze from considerations of small things to focus on the pursuit and achievement of great ambitions that lift us all and save the future. Let us be bold and audacious in keeping, in, in leapfrogging into the next decade of this 21st century. Let us, through our joint efforts, raise a generation in whose hearts a light of understanding is lit and cannot be put out, who possess both the zeal and the passion to defeat the tyranny of low expectations and make good the life of man here on earth. However, it's important to know that one does doesn't find himself within the four walls of a university. There must be a foundation, which is a basic education. University is only a cap, or if you like, the pinnacle or place and place where you unleash knowledge acquired over the years. So in addressing and confronting the issues and challenges of the 21st century tertiary education, we must address the precursor to that, that is basic education. Other speaker also conversed way by which university education can be improved upon in order to meet up with the 21st century university. So the role of the university is, is, is extremely very important if you want to become who we need to become. So we must begin to look at the problem and begin to say it's the way it is. It is high time to rise up today we have moved around this budget for so long. Let us have the courage. Let us have the leadership. Let us take the bull by the horn and give this nation 
the kind of university is sending these ads. The late Senator Ola was first from school, he said the coming of the education is not come on the part of gold. He said we had the contact and the courage to confront all of that to with this education. So if you are going to have a truly 21st century education, it will not be done without the courage to restructure the existing structure because it is not only not sustainable, it is also a waste of resources. And I don't like a waste of resources. Now, that we are not using both of money is another issue that we can contain. If of our national resources with the need that we have, we are putting over 600 billion annual basis into funding of education. That is not bad for a country that has so many things to contend with. But the question is this, what is the nomenclature of that money we are putting in? Not less than 85 to 90 percent to go to the college Then you have less than 50 percent to country of 200 million for capital budget. So I'm talking about spending this year, 2019, on basis that is secondary and primary education alone is 30 billion rands just for development of the social and financial state. That is 6.5 trillion naira equivalent. Now, you cannot get the same result. The question is this, we will all begin to quote those countries, but are we also rich? What is even our national budget? Do we have capacity to fund that? And these are the issues. So as a country, we must get it right. We must define our purpose. We must know that all of these other other countries that are doing it right, there is something fundamental which we must address. I won't say what this university or higher institution is going to go. If it is the system and that system will be functional, I think it is better. If we need to look into structuring them, so that even the federal system of education has close to 30 parasatas. For every state, I think it is too much. Because all of this load our the current expenditure. And so at the end of the day, we are spending too much. For the concept of the value for money becomes questionable. And as the citizens of this country, politics is not something that finds its way into governance. It is not something that finds its way into university administration and the place of education. The university itself needs to rise. And of course, speak to the whole world that is ready to lead that 21st century university we are talking about. How can it be that in 1981 we have more research publications than we had in 1985 when we are going to university? These are also the questions. Thank God for one of the private universities, except for one, we don't even have three universities among the first 500 or 1,000 in Nigeria. So it simply means that we need to look into it again. The wrong notion that in Nigeria, you can only solve problems by two money at The time is gone. It is not just about two money at it's the quality of idea that will pack that spending that will make it work. And so the university must themselves more show that they deserve to lead this change we are talking about. They must give direction. If a university will find it difficult to run a pure water factory and it can never be profitable, how do you train the thousands of students that are now in business and children that are in the US? How do you explain it? Even when a, a polytechnic cannot run a successful issue. And then you have to question about what is the university. You have universities, you have a lot of families, you have about 20 professors, you can't count the number of associate professors and lecturers, they cannot produce paracetamol. This is what the country is. And so we must have a look into it. So the problem is not just about governance, you must look at the people, you must look at the faculty itself. You must begin to look at even the students. The need to create a system of zero tolerance for individual, students, or staff who are credibly accused of harassment, intimidation, and any infringement of individual autonomy was also conversed.